and the kids are training. Okay. So you look at the teacher and they'll wait until everybody wants. I'll eventually turn you guys. Yeah. So welcome to this month's Nevada County Online meeting. Uh, thanks everybody for showing up. Even though there's the fear of a terrible snowstorm that may drop as much as an inch of snow. And you are able to brave the threat of that potentially happening sometime in the next two days. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we never know. It, it's funny, I'm from Pennsylvania, where it snows a lot more. And it's amazing the mindset, which is a good introduction to Barry, that that the mindset of how you approach the world is so different depending on your background and your community and everything else because, man, I would drive with my brother-in-law in this terrible, huge hunk of a car, rear-wheel drive, fishtailing, and just, what's, that's what you did. You occasionally bounce off a parked car, that's okay. But here it's something that is a little bit different. Anyway, so this is Nevada County Online. We are a community resource meetup where we bring in speakers on a variety of topics, typically around marketing. So we cover topics such as search engine optimization, web design, social media marketing, what else? Pinterest, Etsy. Etsy. Yeah, Pinterest. Um, uh, Getting on TV. TV. Getting yeah. on TV, that was a great yeah. performance. Yeah, very soft. Yeah, just very soft we could go through. So. <laughs> Membership websites, there's a lot of things. Yeah. Please go to nevadacountyonline.com if you want to see past presentations. We've got videos from all those presentations and there's some really gems there. Uh, Barry's presentation today will be online there within a few weeks and that will be a future gem. I'm quite certain of that. Uh, so let's start out the meeting with something that we do called success stories. This is an opportunity for us to share things that we've been working on within our businesses that are working. Anything particularly related to marketing or if you have any questions or obstacles or something in your business that you'd like to share with the group and say, hey, this is something that I'm... Is that... Okay, I decided that was the snow! <laughs> <laughs> Grab the women and children! <laughs> it's actually sound enough. Uh, so let's do some success stories. Please, raise your hand if you've got something that's inter exciting, interesting, something that's going well in your business that you'd like I to share. I've got something... Uh, I'm just actually, it's actually more of an announcement. I'm giving a workshop. My name is Brenda Horton. Is. Can you bring that we up? Brenda. I'm giving a quick uh, a workshop on uh, Friday, December 4th, and it's for business women here in Nevada County. And um, now is the time to start planning for 2016. So this workshop is going to be focused around uh, kickstarting your business in 2016. Uh, I know you're going to be there. You're going to be there. So, anyway, come join me, uh, Brenda Horton, and all the information's on the flyer. There you go. Here you go. And Brenda started this group, so she Hi. was really at home telling us stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks. Good. Success stories. What are you guys doing? What's interesting? Hey, Amy, tell them about your editors. That's a. My editor? Your agents. That's a, that's a success. No. Yeah, then you moved on. Yes, Annie. No, no, no. I, I want to say, though, it's very just turn me on to. You just, <laughs> you just stop that sentence right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm here because I can't get a time in this calendar. Oh, yeah. That's why I need to learn from him here. But um, <laughs> turn me on to Canva and Popularly. Is that it? Yeah, I'll talk about it. I don't know you guys know those, but I yeah. love that for. I'm using it online and it's pretty pronounced. Well, pretty can't say it's called Canva. Canva for flyers. That's what I used to make that flyer. Yeah, yeah, I love, I love it. it. So I, I didn't know it. about it, but yeah. it's so easy and quick. Oh, yeah. it's, it's awesome. Yeah, Canva's without the S. You know, these young people create these programs and they morph the words just enough. Yeah. So you yeah. recognize it, but kind of. <laughs> I never in my mind related it to Canvas. That's how my brain works. <laughs> that was what you thought of right away. What's I never thought of that. For? <laughs> Yeah, no, I made that flyer I passed out, I made that on Canva, and it took me all of literally like 10 minutes to put it together. It was yeah. so easy, yeah. and I'm not technically inclined, so. Yeah. Me easy. 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 Yeah. I know I'm working on a, a Sierra County Chamber of Commerce website, and I'm putting captions on photos using Canva. I mean, I use yeah. it for all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Thank you. That's so, cool. online tools, Canva, that's yeah. a good success for 
What else looks good? One or two more out there. Yeah, please. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come, you, how did you find us? Um, well, I popped into an open house and a real estate agent asked me what I did. And I told him what I did. He said, do you know what I'm out of county online? And I said, no, I've never heard of that. So he told me about it. And, um, and it's perfect because that's my business. I mean, we moved up here a year ago from the Bay Area. It's a national company. I'm, I'm here. And we build websites for corporations and businesses, um, and things you've heard of. Um, but I'm based here, and my developers are located in the Midwest. We move all over into the onshore and Midwest and build websites. Folks, so I've got this, we've already built one website here, uh, Wild and Scenic Film Festival, it's mm -hmm. website. So I got to put that to the And uh, so I just thought I'd just be a good place to meet some people and hopefully share some knowledge that I gathered over the last 30 some odd years in marketing and advertising around the world and well, I'm more than happy to share whatever I can. Yeah. Great. Great. Thank you. Join our speakers list. Well, yeah. Excellent. What do you call it? Because Tyler Chikorot was the gentleman that you ran into in that house. He's my business partner. Oh, uh, is that right? And he mentioned, he mentioned I might, that? that you might come. And I'm so awesome. glad you made mention of that. Otherwise, that's I would have never connected the dots. That's so, awesome. uh, yeah. So that's networking in the back. Yeah. 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 Open up the house. <laughs> I have a quick question. What do you build the websites on? What platform? WordPress. WordPress. Warper. Good. So, anybody else want to join in? Yeah. My success, we do, um, I'm CEO of Creative Age Leadership, and we run leadership summits, and we're expanding this year. So, we do leadership summits in the form of summer camps, so we're the opposite of online. We check tech at the door, and we have three days of being offline, mm -hmm. shooting archery, arts and crafts, and doing some amazing pieces. So, um, we are expanding. I think we're going to do a summer camp in Colorado. So we've got two coming up here in April is Women's Leadership Summit, and in September is going to be a more general population um, in technology. And then Colorado, we're putting it together. It may be, uh, we're actually got a lot of leads on doing a video camp, like I think Coach it for a video. Um, mm -hmm. all adults. Is this adults? Yes. Okay. All adults. Only adults. It has to be over 21. Adults who can remember being kids. Yes. And you don't even have to remember how to do it. What's your chance? <laughs> so anyways, camp is called Camp Pause and Success Camp Pass. Camp CAS. So that's our big thing, because I never thought, I thought that years I'm going to be, maybe I'll expand, you know, to other places, and we're going to Colorado, we have a chance in New York and Texas for next year, so. Thank you. Anybody else? Well, I was going to say, um, we have a little success story. But, so the, you guys might know about the Jazz City Grant um, that was offered to at for startups. So finally, after <laughs> a lot, a lot of the uh, rigmarole on going to the city, I ended up winning one of the grants. Um, and and the thing about it is it also benefits one of our longtime members here, Matt Vanderpool, who's my software developer, so I'm developing this, this app. Um, and the other parts, so that's great. It, 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 both of us get to be beneficiaries of this really awesome grant that Hillary has a lot to do with helping getting the word out and connecting a lot of us to this application process and all. Um, another thing that's happening that a lot of stuff is I've been coming here for so many years as sort of a quiet observer, sort of observing, absorbing all this different stuff and not, you know, planning my business and trying to figure everything out, and now a few things are starting to happen. Um, I'm, my focus is on energy efficiency for homes, and so this app I've been working on for just self, self financing for a few years, and you know, going really slow, um, now has got the attention of Energy Up in California, which is California's largest incentive program, outreach to homeowners, and so now I've got this partnership with them, and they're going to help me promote the app, which is Good. So, uh, just a couple uh, administrative bookkeeping things. So, we do not have a holiday party plan for this year yet. I will say that a big part of that comes on me because 
things have shifted a little bit in the leadership team here, and I started a new job working for Buyer Solar, and I've been very much pouring myself into there. So that said, we're going to do a leadership meeting we were just kind of talking about with Laura, Evelyn, and I for December, and that's going to be open to anybody who wants to have a role within the group. So if you have something to offer, that you'd like to be part of the leadership team, great, we definitely can use that. Uh, we'll put that out through Meetup, so just expect to see an email for that. Uh, we will be resetting and ready for next year, having a lot of good speakers, variety of topics coming in. Uh, so no Meetup is scheduled for next month for December. And again, I'll put that out through the Meetup website as well. So we'll be back at it for the fourth, the third or fourth? It's been a while since I'm back here. Fourth Tuesday fourth of the month. Tuesday. The fourth Tuesday. I thought you were saying the fourth year. Yes. I was trying to yeah. remember how many years has it been. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, anything else that you want to? Um, well, I, one thing just for people who are local community people, Torian and I um, and others are mentors for the Sierra Business Development Center. And I've just had some amazing clients that have come to me. One of my clients just published her first book in Truckee. And so it, it's a wonderful resource that's out there for people who need help with marketing, with their websites, with almost anything. And the Small Business Administration pays for it. So you get it for free. So that's just something that um, I think it's good for small business people to know it exists. The main thing to write down about that is the URL of the website is Sierra S B D C dot com. Sierra S B D C dot com. My advice is that you just get the phone number off that, call up, talk to them, describe your business, and specifically say where you've got weaknesses or you've got obstacles or things. Because the variety of business consulting there really does uh, plan. Uh, straddle business planning, financial planning, exit plan, marketing, business strategy, leadership, all of these different aspects are in this pool of mentors. So if you call up, you can say, hey, this is something that I'm not doing as well as I could. Do you have a mentor there that would be a good fit? I have one other announcement. Um, there is going to be a meetup on Tuesday um, called Tech Tonic in Nevada City. At the uh, the new place called at the Golden Era Saloon. Golden Era, thank you. Yeah, it's co-sponsored by Sierra Commons. Oh, you guys yeah. have seen it? Okay. I yeah, guess. and John. Yeah. Okay. So um, anyway, in addition oh, to being it's a, tectonic. it's called Tech Time. Cool name. Yeah. Yeah. So in addition to being a business strategist and mentor to women entrepreneurs here uh, and all over the country, uh, I also am doing a software startup, and the software is a planning and task management tool. And so we're going to be demoing uh, that software that evening. So please come out and join us. It's going to, it's going to be uh, it's a great turnout. It's a lot of great people, people who are more in the technology industry. So um, I invite all of you to come join us. Which Tuesday? It's Tuesday. The 1st. December 1st. Oh, December 1st. And you said in the nighttime, what time is it? It's, what time is the event? Starts at 5.30. Yeah, so yeah. there's some networking, um, and there's a, it's a great cocktail lounge bar that they just opened up right there on Broad Street. Mm -hmm. and, uh, was and that so like East? Did they take it? It used to be Serena's. Oh, it was Serena's. Yeah. yeah. They, like, no, that's not it's, it's, it's called Tech, it's called Golden Era. Oh, Era. I heard it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I was there for their grand opening. It's a beautiful, beautiful ambiance. They did a beautiful job. So there'll be, I, I don't, are you part of the program or do you know if there'll be other people demoing software that night? Or I haven't, I don't think okay. so, yeah. So we'll, we'll be demoing our software, so come join us. Great. Great. Okay, well I'd like to introduce our speaker for today, Mr. Barry Friedman. Uh, as he says, he's a recovering four-time world juggling champion. <laughs> uh, Barry has been a really important part of our business community here at Nevada County Online and he's presented before on how to get your business onto TV and how to create a uh, membership-based website. Today we're going to be talking about the mindset that it takes to be more productive and starting out your week with that Monday mindset so you know how to prioritize which tasks, you know which tasks are going to make you money, which tasks are uh, uh, taking away from your energy, let's say. But overall, Barry is a fantastic speaker, and I noticed that there were juggling pins there, which <laughs> <laughs> made a presentation. 
Um, but let's uh, give it up for Mr. Barry. Hey guys. All I can think about when I'm standing in the back of a room, and I've done this for 33 years uh, at shows around the world that I performed at, is that Tom Petty song, The Waiting is the Hardest Part. It's so incredible. Like, that song is poetry to anyone who's ever been on stage. It's like that. When do we go? Because now it's free and it's fun. But back there, the, the demons and the, uh, what are you talking about? And now it's just great. So, okay, we're not going to talk. We're not, I'll save the juggling stuff in case it gets too boring. Or, or if like everyone raises their hand at once and says, we need juggling at this moment, that'll be great. We need juggling. We need juggling. <laughs> Hurry, there's six children. We need juggling. Yeah, no one ever needs juggling. Uh, good, so I'm excited to be here today. The Monday morning mindset is something I wanted to talk about. It's to me, it's been game changing in my business and my life. Uh, let me just do a quick rundown here because I always have to get the juggling talk out of the way. I'm one half of the Raspini Brothers for 33 years since 1982. My partner and I, the same guy, we've been traveling around this little pebble of ours doing shows at starting at Renaissance Festival, then over 200 national television shows, command performance at the White House, OJ Simpson jury, and really for the last. 28 years exclusively at corporate events around the country, sales meetings, uh, award ceremonies, incentive trips, uh, trade shows, just kind of anything where there's corporate people gather around. Some of the nicest resorts in the world, so it's been a nice uh, piece. So over 200 shows, like all that stuff, corporate shows, six TED Talks. I got in on the TED world very early, which was awesome. In 2000, this guy sent me, this is a great, let this, I didn't even plan on talking about this, but let this be a great lesson for everyone to never say no to something right on the phone. This guy called me and said, oh, I run this thing called TED. No one had heard about it. It wasn't on the internet yet in 2000. And, and I said, oh, you know, we only do a couple charity shows a year. I was on the road Toronto doing, what, 100 shows a year at that time. It was crazy. I said, oh, we don't really do many shows unless they're... And he goes, I'm going to FedEx you something, and unless I hear from you, I'll assume you're going to be there. And I was like, boom, powerballs. I was like, who is this guy? I love him. So I just thought that was great. Next morning, FedEx comes in. It was... You know, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, oh. people talking about things. And the only rules there were at TED Org, you basically talk about a story you've never told on stage, you'd be vulnerable and talk about your failures. This is a great thing, Google this, the TED Commandments. It's incredible, they send that to every speaker. And it's just a wonderful blueprint for how to give a talk that matters. And you're reading a book, Annie, right? Mm -hmm. Talk like TED? Talk like TED. Yeah. Really good, really good. Yeah, some insights from TED speakers. Uh, but that's funny, so I went to my first one in 2000 and uh, been invited back six times. Fantastic. So, and then a couple of TEDx talks. I love that those that started up too as a gateway. Four time world juggling champion, March 2014. I took a one year hiatus. So, this year I've been touching in on juggling a little bit, but for the most part, uh, working on my other businesses. It's time. 33 years in life. I would head up my driveway to a one hour show in Orlando that paid well, but I would sit in my driveway going, wow, for the next two and a half days, I know every single thing that's going to happen. And <laughs> That got a little old. So uh, the, the entrepreneur in me wanted to fire life up, see what it was uh, like to chase some other dreams. Uh, that also was triggered in 2007 by a mountain bike accident when I couldn't move my arm for uh, six months. I couldn't feel my fingers and move my, and as a juggler, arms and fingers are so important. <laughs> really big piece of the puzzle. Uh, and I was sitting around thinking, reading books, wondering what I was gonna do. I asked, uh, uh, myself question, what am I good at? And this woman right here had <laughs> got a laser pointer. <laughs> she had the great answer. She had the great sense, which I've never forgotten. She goes, you're really good at booking a juggling act for a lot of money. And I thought, wow, what a great answer. That led to my first online business called Get More Corporate Gigs, mm -hmm. which led to my 10-week group coaching program I do once a year with entertainers called Showbiz Blueprint. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and these are uh, more and more expensive programs. And then from that program, I bring some entertainers into private coaching for six months. Uh, agreement where we meet twice a month wow. on the phone and dig in deep and change, change their lives. So that, that's how all that stuff starts, by uh, getting antsy, you know, not wanting to just keep doing the same thing. So my question today, I imagine we're all here because we have some kind of a thing, you know, be it whatever it is. Uh, I've heard a couple mentions, business and inspiration software, um, these outdoor wonderful camps, which reminds me of all the stuff I really love doing. And consulting and you know everything you guys do so everyone has some kind of a thing and for the purpose of today we'll just refer to it as a thing because I actually I'd like to spend some time looking at individual uh, challenges and I offer my clients when we go do shows sometimes I will give them a bonus which I love doing anyway but it's really a wonderful selling piece 
I say, what would it be like to bring your management team in and discuss your biggest problems with a four-time world juggling champion? I don't even have a box to put it in, but in the morning we'll meet at breakfast sometimes and just giving feedback from a whole different perspective. So if we have some time today, I would love to do that. Um, why are you building your thing? This is the why. You know, what, what's behind your business thing? Where does it come from on the inside? Is it uh, when you have passion, expert, expertise, habit? A lot of us are doing it out of habit. It's what we've always done. And I realized in my driveway that day, going to do a juggling show and make people laugh for an hour and getting paid good money was a habit. You know, hard to believe, but that was the habit I got. Um, building a following, helping others. A lot of these uh, reasons, the why is something that's so important for us to understand about our business. Start with why. I hope everyone in this room has read that book or had, like I have at the TED conference, a chance to hang out with Mr. Simon Sinek, who is such a brilliant dude. He's got wonderful talks online. Uh, he gives great keynotes, all started by talking about this word why in his friend's apartment in New York about uh, 12 years ago now. And uh, it's turned it into quite a, a brand, this whole start of why idea. Uh, but what it does is it gives us the extra boost to carry on. In fact, I think I just want to cut to that here. Uh, yeah, but the, the why is what keeps us going when we get tired, what keeps us going when we're sick of doing what we're doing. So the why has to be important enough that we are literally shaking. Pulse increases when we think of what our why is, when we channel that, get the picture of it. Uh, be it a child, a, a vision, bank account, relationship, uh, a passion. So, what keeps you guys going in this business? I probably, if I had more time to put this together, I may have put this even before the why, but you know, what is it that keeps you going in your business? Why do you do it? And what is it that, that makes you go? There's some, some on here that, uh, that money making actions. Yeah, so these are money-making activities. They provide financial returns within one to 90 days. That's what I consider personally an MMA. Those I give 75% of my working hours. So I know if I have six hours to work that day, I'm gonna spend 75% of that time on MMAs. What are those for each of our businesses? They're all different, right? <coughs> so we can look at some of that here. If someone wants to be brave at the end and do a little like 10 minute hot seat piece, but. Uh, Money-making actions are really important for you to determine. And I love having a deadline of you know, a quarter on an MMA. If not, if it's not that 75%, it's 25%. And this is a, this is, these are how I spend my uh, 25%. Uh, what if it works? That's a list I always have going. Having a best-selling book and being on TV shows talking about it was started probably three years ago on what if it works, on the what if it works list. When I had a little online program that helped people do 30 days sugar free, and my author wife said you should write a book about this, it went on my what if it works list. And then that slowly got some of that 25% attention and working on it, working on it, and then it came 100% of course. And it's provided money. I did over uh, two dozen TV shows talking about it. I talked about that at an NCO. You guys should watch that if you think at all that your business should be on TV. Go check out that talk. I, I, in an hour, I shared a four-day $10,000 workshop about getting on TV. Wow. <laughs> it was really good. Uh, snooping. I kind of look at what other people in my niche are doing. That's some 25%. Not money-making activities, but it's part of my business. Uh, social media. I don't really consider that a big piece of it, at least that branch of it. LinkedIn is a huge part. LinkedIn is part of my 75%. Because I contact two or three people a week that I'm scared to contact on LinkedIn. And the, the relationships lead to interviews. They lead to joint venture partners in my projects. They lead to uh, me being interviewed on their blogs. They lead to, what they really lead to, those, those scary connections, is they lead to people reaffirming that I'm, I'm valuable to be playing in this, in this market. So, um, so it's scary to do that stuff, but that's where I put it. Uh, social media, meditating, whatever it is, that 25% that's good for business but not money-making activity. So I'd invite you guys right now just real quick while we're in this mode, do you want to write down what your three MMAs are? What are the three? And if you have to think too, too hard about this, we should really talk. <laughs> Seems to be at least somewhat uh, on the top of your mind what they are, whether you're doing or not. Good, just scribble them down. 
Okay. Goals, projects, actions. This is uh, after MIAs. This is where I take all of my coaching clients when they are just coming down off the shock of overwhelm, or they're feeling like there's too much to do, or they don't know what to do. Goals, projects, actions. I know Mason talks about this. I'm a client of Mason. He's talked to me about this. Uh, goals, the end game. Goals is where I want to be. This is this is the thing that's so big right now. When I try to hold it, I feel heavy and lost and confused and overwhelmed and, and just like leave it, leave my body. Uh, projects. This is a step down. This is what must happen for the goal to be met. These are the, the big blocks. And then the actions, you know what these are. These are what supports the projects. So when something comes up, these are the three pieces I define just to make it all make sense in my brain for a second. Goals, projects, actions. Because we can all get clear on an end game, even if it's just like a, uh, you know, I want to make $10,000 this month from a new project. That's a clear goal. The, 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 the projects that live under that, for your business, it may be getting three new clients. It may be talk, and to get three new clients, maybe you have to talk to nine. Maybe you have a three to one conversion ratio. So the projects in, in that case would be talk to nine prospects. And then what are the steps to make that project? Set up appointments. Get my past clients for recommendations. Do some advertising. And as you're doing action steps, guess what? Some of those become projects. You can't just say do some advertising. Do some advertising becomes a project. And there's a couple steps under that. But I tell you, I don't know how your brain works. If you're a mushy, wonderful person, this must probably make an Annie spin a little bit, just because it's linear, black and white steps. Uh, this is uh, when you speak up here, you get to talk about how your system works. And, and within that, I'm happy to hear how I can modify it to help you guys. Uh, good. Kills overwhelm right away. And this is foreign. These ideas are so foreign to a lot of entrepreneurs. These are really foreign to entrepreneurs that do the whole marketing way. And these are foreign to entrepreneurs that make the biggest mistake in the world and spend a lot of time building a product, trying to sell a solution for a problem that doesn't exist. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's something I wouldn't wish on anybody, but it's done all the time. You know, put so much time into building something and uh, building our thing which really is answering the problem that uh, people aren't having. So, GPA is going to talk about that. We have our open house down here again. Tools I love. I wanted just to share some of the things I use to hold this, uh, keep all this going. I have a couple on the screen I'll show you a live demo of. Um, I'm just going to put all these up at once. We can talk about these. Uh, let's see how many people are going to make it. Yep, I think that was all I put up. These are things that are open on my computer, my world, different times. Grab a picture of that, write down ones that uh, particularly interest you. Uh, Google Calendar, of course, the best thing in the world to never miss an appointment. With its, as I have it set, three and one days before an appointment, I get an email. One hour and five minutes before an appointment, I get a text. So, yeah. So, uh, don't miss things if they're in my calendar. Uh, Gmail, between its folders, autoresponders, uh, automation that's built into it. My gosh, I. Hasten to say, in case anyone has a connection with Google, but I would pay 500 bucks a year to have that account. Don't, yeah, don't mention that. But uh, very powerful. Workflowy, the simplest way, if you have a wonderful, uh, if you like a clean interface for just organizing your uh, a work project, uh, it's nothing fancy. It's a white screen with black text, and it works fast and easy. Canva came up today. Wonderful Facebook advertising, where I bring a whole bunch of people in, into my world because the Ability, everyone here on Facebook to some extent? Just at least, yeah, uh, a user account? Bless those people, you know? Yeah, we, yeah, bless those people, but as they, as we click on things we like or read things or watch a video for 30 seconds or two minutes, everything is recorded and they really know what we like. Yeah. So when we do Facebook advertising, our ability as someone who has a message they want to share to be able to talk to somebody, there's nothing like it. it uh, it's, it's, it's killed a lot of forms of advertising, and it's uh, 
really opened a lot of doors for small businesses to level the playing field. I bring leads in, which you could never, I could never do in the past, but I bring leads into my uh, sales funnel for 30 days sugar free um, for about two cents a person now, which is really kind of crazy. Um, you know, that used to be in the dollar range to get people who are um, So, Coach Accountable, I want to show you guys just a quick peek at that online. Popular, P O P U L R, new letter in there. Builds really fast and simple, beautiful one-page uh, sheets. I think it's published one pages is what POP stands for. Lead pages, uh, which is another way of pack, capture, uh, putting out single pages that have a specific purpose, either to get people to register for a webinar or a sales page or opt-in for a, a sales funnel. And Time Trade, a great program I use to, uh, to let my clients book their own appointments with me. So I just put in my it's like an online scheduling. Yes, it's like Calendarly, I think. I've never used Calendarly, but that's another one people talk about. You can book me. Oh, is it? Yeah. Google has one. Yeah. yeah. This one is uh, 25 bucks a year, I think I pay for time trade. I've had it so long. Easy. I have a question on your Facebook advertiser. Have you seen the power editor? Yes, everything's through the power editor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's whole courses on Facebook advertising. But yeah, power editor is kind of an offline version where you do all the work and uh, which one is that under? I'm sorry. Facebook, Facebook advertising. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Power editor. Yeah, the good thing, my favorite thing about Power Editor is it allows you to create posts that aren't on your page. Dark posts, they call them, but it looks just like a post, and you can use that as an advertisement, but you may not want it on your normal page. So, yeah, I'm running an ad right now for the workshop, and I'm, I'm at about 58 cents a click. Yeah, for a local area, for a local area, that's uh, not, not a common. Really, I want to look at your numbers. How many people is the potential reach on that? Yeah, uh, I think we were at, the, at about, uh, let's say, like 50,000. Okay. But I, I think I can tighten it even more. Right. You know, with the parameters. So I went like from age 30 to 55. Oh, that's Targeting women. Just, you know. Break your ads up into every five years. 30 to 35, and then just duplicate it. All you do is hit Control C, Control V, and duplicate. Then just change the year 36 to 40, 41 to 45. Oh, okay. That will make your price. Fall to the oh, ground. Really? Because you're only aiming at like 10,000 people, and if you get 10 people, so you're aiming at 50,000 people. It's if, too large. Yeah, and if you get uh, if you get uh, four, say 100 clicks in there, or 10 clicks in yeah. there, it looks terrible. Facebook charges you a fortune. Uh, if you're doing five years and you get those same 10 clicks and you're targeting 7,000 people, they're like, this is the greatest ad in the world, and they'll show it for four or five cents. Okay. What do you recommend for the Facebook course? So like that kind of stuff. Yeah, there are so many. And I Have you heard of John Loomer? I know he John Loomer, he's like the best guy, and he yeah. and so much of this stuff is free. Yeah, yeah, that's who I've been. I just L O O M E R. Yeah, John, yeah, J O N. He's a J O N. Yeah, yeah, I you're right. His email list, and he's just he puts out amazing. I know. Facebook advertising. It's crazy. Like he's like a guy. Like I'm really a big fan of putting out a lot of content to bring people into my courses. Right. But he like has moved the free line to like almost like MBA level. Like just yeah. when you get his free stuff, it's out of control. J O N and then Loomer, L O O M E R. Okay, you got, are, can you spell that? Yeah. Okay, Loomer, thank you. Visual person. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> well, you're both worth talking, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so just so I'm clear, just break it down into five. That's a huge step, but okay. yeah, once you make the ad the way you like it, just copy and, paste and repeat it. Okay. And then change the age. That's all you okay. need to change. All right. So you and want plus, a small demographic. Well, small demographic, small and really well targeted. Okay. But, but you would use the same app for all of Well, maybe. Things. But you know, like when I do my sugar free things, I certainly have a different picture and a different headline on there for 25 year olds than I do for 60 year olds. Yeah. Okay. So I'll change them up a little bit because um, a 60 year old person who's dealing with their health has a whole different yeah. conversation going on in their head than a 30 year old person. So yeah. I'll, I'll try and match that up. Good. Good. So let me uh, just, I'm going to take you on and just show you a couple of these. Uh, let, me, uh, let me just tell you about one other project I'm doing. This is, I know we never come here to Nevada County Online to sell, and I'm not, don't have to do anything with me. I'm going to show you a project that I've actually done. I'm running right now with people around the world, and I'm toying with the idea of doing one in January, starting in January with entrepreneurs. I have such a following of entrepreneurs around the world. Uh, through. Everyone, anyone ever heard of Product Launch Formula? Jeff Walker. He used. A, he came out to our house and did a case study on me for his last launch. And 
I had people opting into Showbiz Blueprint because it was about my success using PLF for Showbiz Blueprint that had nothing, you know, no job. Really. Like. Right. So I actually changed my other spot. Hey, what's this guy doing? Yeah. So it's funny, I talk to that part of my segment of my list now about business stuff. And like, hey, can we do some? So this is a program called uh, Kickstart. This is something I do for entertainers. Every Monday morning, uh, start, I started October, the beginning of October, so we're finishing our second month now. I'm on the phone from 7 to 7.45 with entertainers from around the world. Uh, and it's fantastic. I do a 10 minute strategy teaching, and then I do two 15, 20 minute hot seats with each, with each of the members. It circles through, so every 10 weeks they'll get another hot seat. There's 20 people in it right now. Uh, in that program, I do a uh, group of 20 entrepreneurs. Uh, this, is this is a new one, thank you. 8 to 9 a.m. It's going to happen on Monday mornings right after that one. I talk about best practices, strategies, what's working right now. It's glance over my shoulder, what's working in business. Uh, this is just for entertainers? Or entertainers? No, this is one I'm going to do starting January for our I'm doing this right now for two months so far, and it's going to go on forever for entertainers. That one happens from, uh, from 7 to 8 in the morning. So I'm going to roll right into another one here. What time do you get to bed? I don't need much sleep. Okay. I'll tell you what, you quit eating sugar, six hours of sleep is like a long night. Because my body's not working on digesting Reese's all night. It's terrible. And did you make that with Canva? That was Canva, about 15 minutes. Wow. I love Canva. Yes, it does. Yeah, they have magazine cover templates, yeah. which are awesome. So, um, and then on each call, I do two member hot seats where I dig crazy deep into what's happening in their business, what they need to do, um, what's happening, uh, the blocks that I see. Test that I've run. I look at it all week. How People, painful does that get? It is remarkable. It, yeah, it's every single person has been so open. Uh, what I tell people during hot seats: when it's yours, you're on the spotlight, and when it's not yours, when you're listening to somebody else's, you're on the spotlight. So it's really just like, what am I saying about this person that's your business? You know, that needs to go. Are you doing this through Google Hangouts? Uh, no, I just do this on a phone. It's just oh, it's on a phone. Okay. Yeah, it's a telecentral. Yeah. Well, actually, there's a screen share program I use called Start Meeting. Okay. Wow, so nice, yeah. I, had, I tried to list my online tools today, but I was like, oh, that's too many. But yeah, Start Meeting is a really nice one for screen share and teleconference all in one. Um, these people have access to Coach Accountable, which I'm going to show you in a minute, because I think anyone who has clients should be using Coach Accountable. Uh, and then there's a live uh, one-day mastermind that we're going to do in Las Vegas in, I think, March. We have it scheduled. So, all the people in it who want can fly to Las Vegas morning. I spend the whole day digging in line. Um, and MondayMorningMindset.com is the website I have for the new one that's coming up for January for entrepreneurs. That's so, a great URL. That is yeah. a great domain. You already get that. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, good. Let me show you inside of a couple of things here that I want to share with you. Again, zero pressure. There is a sales button on this page if you want to join it. Uh, I'm taking 20 people. This is going to fill up with a lot of really interesting people from around the, uh, the country. So, but yeah, no sales pressure on that. I, mean, I want to make that clear. This is this is me telling you of possibilities that I'm living uh, that are real. So here's inside Coach Accountable. This is one thing I really want to show you. This is a program I use to support my group. Uh, this is all my coaching clients, whether they're in this group or whether they're just uh, private coaching clients. This is all my clients, what they look like here. Uh, some I'm doing private coaching with, some are in my group. I come over here to group. This is Monday Mindset. This is my entertainer's group. Any clients in here, I can click on them and see what they're, uh, what they're doing, what's going on for them. Nice. So I click on David. This gives me the ability to stay so inside my people's world. Uh, this is, I have these filtered through uh, Gmail here. Let me see, Coach Accountable. Uh, so I have all these filtered. Whenever something comes from Coach Accountable, it goes into my Coach Accountable folder. I'll scan down this. This may look like a whole bunch at night, but what I would do is I do this and I go comment it. So I see what people are writing about, and I come in here. I'll just do one of these live. Uh, Jen Slaw, private coaching client. She, okay, so that's going to take a minute of my time to see what she did. But let's just see. So someone just puts in here. I've been tracking family time. Not a bad idea to keep it all in perspective. Actually, yesterday is. So this is a, a bad example. Usually people write on here about some challenge, something they're doing in their business, and I'll just go, um, go you know, I mean, just to show you how this works. Is that his name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, so inside Coach Accountable now, I can 
it, it weaves that comment I just did into his thread of communication with me. So, which is kind of remarkable to think how many lives I can touch in a minute of scanning down things. And just so someone says, hey, call three uh, clients today, I'll just pop into my email and say, what would it take for you to do five tomorrow? And all of a sudden, tomorrow they do five, and they have more results. This uh, Coach Accountable is probably the greatest tool for client retention I've ever even dreamed about. Like, no one will leave this program. I did a video testimonial for the owner of the site recently, put it on the front page of Coach Accountable, because mm. I juggled knives at the very opening. <laughs> what does that cost? Uh, this, I think I paid a hundred, it, it goes by how many people you have. I have about 20 in here now, or I have a little over 20. I think I pay about 160 a month for this now. Mm. Um, my coaching clients are 197 a piece, though, so I, I'm throwing one of those people to the, the cost of the system that I think is the glue that holds everybody. And you have hundreds? I mean, that's, does that, that's ridiculous expense? I think the biggest, cost less? they have a, yeah, it goes down to about $4 a person. The biggest one they have published on here, you can get more if you're handling more, but it's 400 a month if you have 100 people. So that's where I'll probably be at some point. Is that a SaaS-based software? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's all cloud-based, so, and they have a really nice mobile app which allows me to check in nice. and stay on people. Wow. What if you're not trying to have it quite so, is there something that's similar to that that's not as expensive that, that, that keeps track of clients? Probably. You know how you can do this on the free is you could have a, a Google Doc folder. Okay. With each of your clients in the Google Doc folder, give that person only access what this does, that that doesn't do is, if I log on here as another screen here, I, they gave me a, a free account, so I can log in here as a, my tester account. This is my client, so this is how a client uses it. That other one you're looking at is my coach account. So this is what it looks like if I'm on this. So if I go to my group that I'm in, I can see here's my uh, here's what's happening on the group. So this is a hot seat. These are two hot seats I did on Monday with people. Here's a session review of my whole Monday session where I told them I basically ran my notes. Oh, that's awesome! Wow. I give them the whole session, and then there's things going on here. So as a member of the group, I'm able to see everything that's happening on the group. Huh. Uh, conversations on the hot seats. So that wouldn't be able to happen on coach, on a Google document, but you would still be able to stay in touch with everybody. And the client's not paying for it, you are, right? You're Correct. It with them. And here's the beauty. This is what's amazing. So I'm in here. I don't keep a bunch of uh, metrics on this account. I do all my other stuff on, on another program I use. But So if I have metrics right here, this is something, I, and then every client has access to this. I can set, as the group leader, as the coach, I can set a group metric. One time I make it, and everybody gets the metric. So, nice. in fact, I'll show you one of those. This is great. So, I come here to the uh, to the stream here, and I set a metric. What I've been doing more is having people set up their own metrics because every business is so unique. So, I instead set a group action, and that action says set up a metric that does this. Uh, and here's one I did for this. So 21 of these people have done it, 14 did it on time, 2 did it a little late, and 5 are outstanding. Uh -huh. I click on this, I come down here to see the outstanding people. Wow. Yeah? And I will, I go, what's going on? How did they consider somebody outstanding? I set a date for when this action is due. So this was due on Monday, the 23rd at 7 p.m. I gave them a week from the time I assigned it. All right, and I trained heavily on how to do that. It's a uh, drag that they're out there doing it. Some, some people are missing it. Um, anyway, Coach Campbell, I don't want to make this whole accountable lesson. That is uh, what happens. Another one, I, um, I, I think this is important if you work with clients in any way, the, the ability to touch into their lives and the retention that they get by setting up their own metrics by getting to look at their own screen. So here's some I set up when I was testing this. This was push-ups I wanted to do. I get an email or a text, I just select, do I want to do it by text or email? It sends me a text, how many push-ups do you do? I hit seven, and it puts it right on the chart. Boom, mm -hmm. sends it right back. So very interactive way to do it. Uh, tracking my weight to get down for a race I'm doing. Um, work time being MMAs. You know, I put this stuff up here, I set it a line myself at 75% for every day. So I just hit what I'm doing on those days. Um, so are you using this, uh, did you replace your membership sites with this? Are you using I, so the beautiful thing about uh, Monday Morning Mindset, 
and my uh, kickstart for entertainers is I had a goal of doing a, an income uh, program that I could make 50000 a year in one hour a week and, and not have a website. Those were the three goals that I set for myself. So there's no website for uh, Kickstart. It's all done on Coach Accountable. So nothing to update, nothing to uh, worry about getting hacked. But she has it on membership sites too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, you're, you're no, you're no longer I, using any type of membership site. I or? still use Wishlist Member for like showbiz blueprints and things like that. Okay. Yeah, for my uh, once a year group coaching program, that's still run on on Wishlist Member. Um, so why would you not use Coach Accountable for that? Only because I started using this. I run uh, showbiz blueprint in spring every year, and I started using this uh, when I came up with this new goal about. I mean, you just don't want to export export all that. It would just be too much done. Yeah. It's it's too much to move over, so I probably will when I do show this blueprint again. But this is uh, this is my once a year group coaching program, and this is all the you know this could easily be sitting on Coach Accountable. Right. You know, all this stuff here. Wow. Uh, let me just give you a quick rundown of a couple where we have for time. Are we done? Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, this is popular P O P U L R, another app that I just love. This builds one uh, published one pages. These are all drag and drop easy. This is a template I send to somebody after I do a couple coaching calls with them uh, to invite them into a six month, $10,000 coaching agreement. I, had a, a, I sent out 12 of these, I booked eight coaching clients. Um, and I built this all on pop. This is 90% a template and I, I customized this one piece in here. This is the five reasons why I'm most interested in working with those people. Uh, these have an incredible closing rate. Do you put your clients through an application process, like, like kind of a filter? I do two free 90 minute sessions with them. And then to kind of rock their world and live. make sure they want to play and I want to play. Yeah, they're live. We do those on the phone. So that's the, for private coaching. I do two 90 minute sessions. And those are complimentary? Mm -hmm. Like a discovery? What's, okay. Yeah. They're, they're, they, save, they save my life. That's what I call this. Okay. Because I don't want to get involved with someone for six months unless I think they'll actually. Them and change. Yeah, <laughs> unless there will be something that actually happens. Uh, so yeah, all my people, all my, all my coaching clients so far have had TEDx talks booked, whether they've done them so far or not. They've been on TV. Some have written books. This guy, uh, I just ended with him. I just had my last session with him, but he did his first uh, twenty thousand dollar gig. He just wrote a forty-five thousand dollar gig. So ten thousand dollar coaching agreement was kind of a stupid move on my part. Uh, <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, We'll have to get over our own thing. Uh, time trade, I showed you a bit of. No, Canva, we, we talked. Time oh, okay, yeah, I'll show you. Uh, let me just show you something. Like, this is something I'm doing on my Facebook fan page. We've got a little over 40,000 mm -hmm. people here. And, and I use Canva to make these in like a couple minutes. I just have an idea of something I want to do and I whip it out on Canva. So, yeah, if you're doing any kind of, any kind of business where you're talking to people on Facebook, jump in and start making things. These are my most uh, popular. Posts they get shared like crazy. And I just want to have this come a long way because they they launched a couple of years ago and I just I looked at it and I just I can't use this. It oh was, no kidding! It was the user interface was horrible and then I looked at it again a couple of months ago I was blown away how far they come. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's fun. So yeah, I brand things. They have a great tool. I don't know if you're using. Uh, if you're advertising on Facebook, your text can only take up 20% of your picture. Canva takes care of that. They have a 20% overlay thing, so when you're done making something, you drag the 20% over, and if you need to move some, and it, so it puts 25 boxes there, so your text can be in any five boxes. So it makes it so easy to get ads approved. Yeah. Like this, uh, this one I didn't boost. No, uh, this one went out in eight of 18,076 shares. Some of my boost, and then I just make sure that, yeah, like this is in 20% of the, this one, I fit all this text in 20 percent using Canvas tool because wow. that's the five squares across the middle. So, nice. yeah, I just had a client that stopped by cranberry sauce. We all know go there. It was a link to something with a bunch of text. Like, yep, you it, can't gets, that. it gets turned down, right? They won't do it. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, you know, I wanted to leave time at the end of this in case anyone had something like live they wanted to talk about and. Um, a business struggle, a challenge to find your money making actions. Um, take a look at ways to get new clients, literally anything you want to talk about. It's kind of what I do in hot seats with people. So, and if there is nothing we're What are you charging for the, the program? Yeah, this, uh, this program is $197 a month. 
So that's the one you're launching in January. Yep, that's the one I've been doing. So I've, for how long? We're going. Okay. Yep, we're just going as long as you want to stay in. So the one with entertainers started the first week of October. Okay. We're in the second month now. And I tell you, it just gets richer and richer and richer. And is it one of those things that you just jump in, or you all no. start at the same time? Yeah, I'm starting people on certain dates. In fact, I've gotten so many requests from entertainers, I'm starting another one. I'm going to do a Tuesday morning with entertainers on from 7 to 8. Dude, I've got about 8 right now who have asked me. I missed the first one. I want to get in, so I'll do Why another are you 20. doing it that way instead of just letting them jump in? Is there a Yeah. There is. There's a progression we do. Like the first month, I'm really focusing on productivity. The second month, I'm focusing on uh, on uh, advanced booking strategies for entertainers. Third month, we're working on social media. I'm, we're, taking we're basically doing a long program with the mixture of hot seats. I've never done hot seats with people, and they're so powerful. Right, and with 20 people in, and two hot seats a time, every 10 weeks you get a hot seat, which is it's just incredible. Like the first people are coming around in a few weeks, and I just check in with them. How are you doing with everything we did on the first hot seat? And they're like, oh, that's like 70% done. And so by their next one, they want to have that ready. Then we're going to go to the next place. So um, to me, it just feels so beautiful. I, I love the, the way it's happening. Um, yeah, so. When they prepare to be on the hot seat, do they do require that they bring in like a list of things? Yeah, so that's a really good question. And take pictures of this slide if you want, in case you want to do this with your clients. I'm happy to share this with you. Um, in fact, if you guys write me an email, um, here, put this down, and I didn't set up an autoresponder, which I usually would have. Is that what you want there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Raspini at gmail.com. And just say uh, NCO in the subject line, and I'll have it send you out my slides from today and anything else I talked about. Uh, but yeah, inside of Coach Accountable here. This is uh, and this is great. They get this mail to them automatically when they have a uh, when they have a hot seat coming up. My dashboard. And, this, and the program allows you to engage with them as a group, also, right? Not just individually. It's so incredible inside the group thing like this. If I set a metric, um, in fact, this is cool. I love the user interface with their picture. Yeah, and this is awesome. So I go to Monday mindset. And I click new group message. Message. This is going to go out to all members of Monday Mindset. Uh, I can also change. Um, yeah, I, I set this up as a group message. So, so every single person will jump in on this, and that's a message out to 20 people, real quick, in this group. Nice. Uh, and I do it daily. I do it something with these guys every day. Uh, and if I go over to my account here, you'll see it comes. This is where I'm logged in as just me as a guy. Um, and I come down to Coach Accountable, and you'll see there's probably an email here. What's the need to you? So they get an email. Some of them have to set up to text, so they'll get that on text. They answer right there, and it goes into the thread of this. Yeah, perfect. Oh, yes. I was going to show you that. Thank you. Keep me on track here. Uh, my so dashboard. Much to share. Yeah, I just want to yeah, There's so much to share. My CA, my library. This is documents that I've made for everybody. I select who they go to. Here's hot seat preparation, though. This is what. This is what they get. Oh, actually, uh, this. Yeah, so they get this PDF sent to them. This tells them everything they need to do to. I tell them in here, I was like, before you start, here's how you can waste our time. Here's how our time can go well. Here's how you can waste our time. Um, build a mission for yourself. Love yeah. that. Yeah. If it's not your hot seat, what do you do? And here's what I tell people listen like it is your hot seat. What to submit by Saturday afternoon. And these are five quest six questions that I have them answered. And this is what really guides the hot seat. Yeah. Wow, nice. I get medieval, you know. It's, <laughs> I do. I, I it's it's a little intense because I, I, uh, I think people are a part of this thing because they want things to be different. Mm -hmm. We all do, right? We have some transformation, some idea of what we want next. Mm -hmm. 
And as a coach, as a leader, if I'm not delivering that to them, they're not getting some of their life. It's a disservice. So um, I, I stood up to PLF. I went to their live event. 800 people in the room. Jeff Walker had us all raise our hands. Who has a program that costs 500000 up to 2000 There was a handful of us raising it. And that showed his blueprint. Then he did a thing. How many of you have had uh, more than 20% refunds, more than this, more, all the way down, never had a refund, and I was the only guy in the room standing. Wow. And he started talking to me for a while about what that is, and I said, it's because I have a, a vision that people should make at least 10 times the money they're investing with me instantly by the end of whatever the program is. So every month, 197, you guys should make 1,000 bucks off what we're talking about during that month. I mean, that, or 2,000 bucks, that should be easy. Uh, and then just delivering. Because as I delivered more and more content to people and get more corporate gigs, I had the ideas for Showbiz Blueprint. As I over-delivered and showed his blueprint, I started having ideas for private coaching and how I could really scale that up. And as I'm private coaching, look, I'm telling you, I promised this a while ago about so many things that at NCO and membership, I talked about having a $10,000 group coach, uh, private coaching practice one day, and I had it. And now I'm saying that someday I'm going to have a live event with I don't know how many thousands of people at it, but all of it just keeps scaling up, and that's what I really want, like delivering to people. So. That's it. I will send you guys stuff. Anyone that want to talk about any of these questions? Yeah. yeah. We're going to sound like such a novice because I am, but Perfect. you mentioned product launch something that I didn't get the Formula. Last. Formula? Yeah, Jeff and, Walker. And that is what again? I'm sorry. It's a, a system that's been proven by, I don't know how many thousands of entrepreneurs, about a way to release a product to market. Okay. And that, if it's a service, it doesn't look it's a lot. Wonderful service. Wonderful work for selling houses, it works for uh, writing a book for authors. So. Okay, yeah. cool. And then the other thing was a Google Doc, DOC, is that for? Yeah, Google, Google Docs. Docs. Okay, I, I mean, I have a Google email, but that's about all. Oh, there's a little corner, yeah. there's a little corner of eight square. Yeah, all these things. Okay. Okay. Click on that, there's magic in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my main email, I use Mac mail for my no, main email. No, 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 make two million in there. Yeah. These little squares up here yes. hold, hold a lot of future. Yeah. 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 That's gold in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, so between okay. photos and uh, free storage for all your photos, any photo you take on your phone. Drive is because that's what the docs are. Yeah. You would know that. It's yeah. Drive. Yeah. That's what your docs are. Yeah, this is, a, this is just a hard drive that we can access from wow. around. So. I just love noses for him, but I'm just so resistant. I'm like, no, I'm like, no. Yeah, sorted by folder, sorted by reason. Microsoft, Word, Star, and yeah. 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 Okay. And if you never will lose anything up again, it's all in that slab. Really? Mary, I think you and I have talked about this personally, but what do you do so for your team? Do you do it for like tasks? All of our, that workflow that we have in Alt, is that we use like no, your uh, virtual uh, assistants and everything? Like after I lost track? Yeah, for that I just use, um, no, what do we use for that? We use, um, what's it called? Well, there's these. Zendesk. 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 It's a free version of Zendesk and it's wonderful. Like, it's a really good thing. Zendesk. 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 Zend
won the dance contest. What, what was it called? Oh, Dancing with Our Stars. Dancing with Our Stars. I was there. Yeah. Not this year. I won last year. I was going to say. I was, yes, yes, yes. I was dressed as Mr. Clean. It was Carol Topcast. <laughs> <Tuck -tuck. laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks, you guys. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. A dollar, two, five, ten, twenty. Just uh, keep us going. You did give me. I appreciate that. We do have to pay for this room. It's not free.